As you get older, you become the main focus point for a lot of these marketing companies. Your alpha people that are older, literally, you are their target audience. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, I'm April. I'm a skincare and cosmetic chemist. and talk about all things skincare, a back end, front end of all things skincare. So if you're interested in that, definitely hit that like button for me down below. Subscribe to the channel because we're here every week, every single week talking about skincare. All right, y'all, as you guys can tell from the title, today is an anti-aging skincare routine for people in their 20s to their 40s, really. As we get older, you guys know <laughs> the skin starts to say, uh-uh, uh-uh, you can't do that, you know? So we need to keep up with the skin. Actually, no, we need to be in front of our skin, okay? Like our skin wants to trick us, age us. No, we need to be ahead of it, right? So in today's video, I'll tell you guys what happens as we, you know, get older and ways to hopefully mitigate that aging process, okay? Because it's hard out here competing with this Gen Zers. If you're a millennial, put your hands up in the comments below. I know it's hard. I know y'all, I know, I know, I know. We're getting old. 90s babies are getting old. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, let's get into the video. So this video actually is a follow-up from my uh, How to Protect Your Skin Barrier video. If you haven't seen that video, it's right up here. You should check it out. So yeah, you guys, our skin barrier is, it's bay. We need to protect it because that's where all the ceramides and lipids are to protect our skin collagen. It's just keeping those skin cells just intact. It's keeping it snatched. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to keep it snatched and you know protected so basically what happens is that skin barrier over time as we get older it starts to deplete and unfortunately we start to see saggy skin you guys fun fact starting from your mid 20s from age 25 we lose collagen levels by one percent one percent so that means by age 40 you've lost 15 percent of your collagen isn't that wild that's crazy so y'all y'all we need to keep up we gotta keep up, okay? So that being said, our skin cells don't turn over as quickly as we get older. Uh, so we need to introduce, honestly, prescription retinoids. Prescription retinoids because it's been proven to really, really work efficiently to go into those basal layers of the skin and turn over your skin cells. It helps it turn over a lot faster to help your skin cells keep renewing and keep bringing up the skin cells on the surface of the skin. Having the tip top skin cells at that on that skin surface is very, very imperative to start using retinoids. I can't stress this enough. Trick knowing, very, very important. Go to your dermatologist. You're 25 years old. You got money. Go to your dermatologist and request for tretinoin. Very, very important because you need those skin cells turning over. Next point is our skin cells don't actually produce enough oils as we get older. You start to notice a lot of drying and cracking on our skin. Our skin starts to get more sensitive, so even uh, products that you've used before that you normally wouldn't see sensitivity or have sensitivity to, you start to notice that it starts to sting a bit or even break you out. So it's very important to start to dumb down our skincare routine, get, start to keep it more simple. Don't use all the crazy ingredients that these Gen Z ears are going wild about. You know, it's good to be informed about them, but don't feel like you should be using every single thing that a Gen Z years are using because it'll take you down a rabbit hole that you don't want to go into so yeah definitely dumb it down so i would do like cleanser and moisturizer treatment and sunscreen you know sorry guys i have friends that like to message me when i'm filming so yeah definitely definitely dumb down that skincare routine you would thank your 40 year old self a lot more next is our skin is actually more prone to skin cancer even for people with dark skin it's a myth that dark people don't get skin cancer if i'm wrong fact check me somebody but i'm pretty sure bob marley died of skin cancer could be wrong but i'm pretty sure i read that about him but yeah black people unfortunately we don't have skin cancers as much as our white counterparts but when ours is detected it's typically already too late to treat and uh it's sad because ours would appear in like you know dark patches so if you have that dark patches just start going away especially for an older lady like on your forehead or like under your feet Please get it checked out, especially if it's just been there for months. Please get it checked out because it could be skin cancer. And also, obviously, if you're lighter skin, you uh, want to be more careful because you are more prone to skin cancer because you do not have that SPF factor naturally in your skin. So you definitely, definitely, definitely want to do like a consultation every year. Do like a physical with your dermatologist as well as black people, especially as you get older. Definitely get that physical uh, uh, scheduled so you can go in and your dermatologist looks at you and tells you how your skin's doing because prevention is better than cure. Right? Am I right, ladies? <laughs> also, as we get older, we have depleted antioxidant levels. You guys already know our skin doesn't naturally need vitamin C and vitamin E. So definitely up your intake of vitamin C and vitamin E because you're going to need those to help defend against free radicals from the sun. Also, if you're a little extra, I haven't gotten there yet, but if you're extra enough, you can get those driving gloves that you can use to protect your skin from the sun. Let me know if you wear driving gloves in the comment below. But I've seen a lot of people that do that and wear hats when they're driving. 
I haven't gotten to that yet. Maybe when I turn closer to 40, I'll do that. But I've heard that it works amazing. So yeah, definitely up your intake of those uh, antioxidant rich foods, like your leafy vegetables, your citrus fruits. Please, please, please up that because you're going to need that to help defend against radicals. And then the last thing I want to touch on to help, I already talked about food a little bit, but you definitely want to up your diet and exercise. It's so, so important, especially for this age group. A lot of times we negate diet and exercise. I'm not telling you to like become Serena Williams and be in the gym busting those weights. Shoot, if that's your forte, girl, you better slay. But just go every day, even if it's for 20 minutes, just go lift something. Do go on the treadmill, something. Don't just be sedentary. Don't just stay home. I feel like sedentary lifestyle is a huge, huge contributor to aging. From where I'm from in Nigeria, a lot of women that complain about like knee pain, you know, arthritis, they don't do anything. They just sit home all day. So please, please, please try to move the body. It's a machine that needs constant movement to, you know, to feel it, to do what it's supposed to be doing. So definitely uh, important to exercise as well as up your diet and eat more healthier. And the final point I want to make here is just be careful of all the, I kind of already touched on this with like, you know, being careful with all these skincare ingredients that are sort of popping up everywhere. And in the same breath, just be careful of all these like marketers that are trying to sell all these different products. There's a lot of cash grabbing going on. Just be really, really careful because um, as you get older, you you become the main focus point for a lot of these marketing companies and they are looking for you to out for people that are older, literally. I can tell you from my personal anecdote that a company actually has reached out to me before and they asked me to send them my demographics. They were wanting to collaborate with me and I sent them my demographics and we saw that my demographics was uh, more uh, 18 to like 30 year olds and they basically just said yeah we can work with you let us know when you have more of like 40 50 60 year olds in your demographics because that's who we're catering to and you guys mind you their prices were out the bazooka because their prices were literally like I'm talking three four hundred dollars for skincare products so you guys just be very 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 aware these skincare companies you are their target audience um, because they know that you guys you know at that age you're desperate and you kind of want to start fixing things so that's why I'm trying to get my sisters at 20s and 30s to start taking care of their skin so when you get there you're not going to be a guinea pig to these companies. All these products are all the same anyways. I don't I don't see why you should spend $100 on skincare products, to be honest. So yeah, I hope you found this video valuable. I just thought that this is something that's just kind of important, you know, um, for people to be aware of and for us as we start to mature, you know, as we get into this sweet, sweet, sweet ages um, for us to know and always remember and um, so that we can all grow hotter together. I'm not going to say older. We're going to we're going to go hotter and sexier together, okay? Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel Jenna Family. Bring it on. Come on. We need you. Jenna Family, not just on here on TikTok and Instagram. Follow us. I'm April Bassey all over all social media platforms. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. to say